surprised to... Please. I think I just heard Mrs. Ferraro say that she would do away with all covert action. And if so, that has very serious ramifications, as the intelligence community knows. This is serious business. And sometimes it's quiet support for a friend. Uh, and so I'll, I'll leave that one there. But let me help you with the difference, Ms. Ferraro, between Iran and the embassy in Lebanon. Iran, we were held by a foreign government. In, e, in, e, in Lebanon, you had a wanton terrorist action where the government opposed it. We went to Lebanon to give peace a chance, to stop the bombing of civilians in Beirut, to remove 13,000 terrorists from Lebanon, we did. We saw the formation of a government of reconciliation, and for somebody to suggest, as our two opponents have, that these men died in shame, they better not tell the parents of those young Marines. They gave peace a chance, and our allies were with us, the British, the French, and the Italians. Congresswoman Ferraro. Let me just say, first of all, that I almost resent Vice President Bush your patronizing attitude that you have to teach me about foreign policy. I've been a member of Congress for six years. I was there when the embassy was held hostage in Iran, and I have been there, and I have seen what has happened in the past several months, 17 months with your administration. Secondly, please don't categorize my answers either. Leave the interpretation of my answers to the American people who are watching this debate. And let me say further that no one has ever said that those young men who were killed through the negligence of this administration and others ever died in shame. No one who has a child who's 19 or 20 years old, a son, would ever say that about the loss of anybody else's child. Mr. White. 